Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of Linux file permissions. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see on my desktop, I've got a single file here called file one. And to list the permissions, we can do that with ls. So if we type in ls dash l and the name of the file, so file one, and hit enter, you can see that we have this long listing. Now, if we start from the far left hand side, we have a single dash here which symbolizes that this is a normal file. If this was a directory, that single dash would be a D, or if it was a block special file or a character special file, it would be a B and a C respectively. Now the next three characters in the first kind of block are the permissions for the owner of the file, which are followed by another three characters, which are the permissions for the group, and the final three here, are the permissions for everybody else. Now the number that follows that is just the number of links for the file and then we've got the name of the owner of the file and the name of the group. Now the zero that follows that might not be a zero for any other files that you look at but as this is an empty file it's a zero because there's nothing in it. It's totally empty. But if there was data in it this would be the file size. And following that is the date that the file was last modified and then the name of the file name. So for permissions, we're actually interested in these two fields here and the first block here. Now in Linux, there are three basic permissions. You've got read, which is R, write, W, and X, which is execute. Now to change the permissions of a file, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on just using the symbolic notation, but we need a utility and that utility is chmod, which allows us to change the mode bits of the file. So let's just say that we wanted to change the permissions for the group of this file. So that's these three characters here. What we would do is type in chmod and then G for group and whether we want to add or subtract them. So let's just say we want to give the group execute permissions. What we would do is type plus X. So we're adding execute permissions to the group. And then the name of the file that we want to do that to, which is file one and hit enter. And if we ls L, you can see that the group now has execute privileges or execute permissions. We can also take permissions away. So if we type in chmod again, and we want to take away those execute permissions for the group. So we type in G for group and then a minus and X because we're taking away execute permissions and then file one and hit enter. And if we ls dash L again, you can see that the group no longer has execute permissions. Now the third operation that we can apply to these permissions is the equals. So if we type in chmod and let's just add some permissions to everybody else. So we want to give them read, write and execute permissions, which you generally wouldn't do, but just for demonstration purposes, we're going to type in O for other and an equal sign and the permissions that we're going to make it equal to. So read, write and execute and then the name of the file, which is file one and hit enter. And if we ls dash L, you can see that everybody else now has read, write and execute permissions. We can also do combinations. So let's chmod and we're going to add some permissions to the user, which is the owner of the file and the group. And what we're going to add is we're going to add execute permissions. So everybody's equal and type in file one and hit enter and if we ls dash L you can see that the owner of the file now has execute permissions and the group also has execute permissions as well. So now let's take away everybody's permissions. So let's chmod. So we can do it in two ways. We can either type ugo and then minus read write and execute or we can just use an a. So a minus rwx and that stands for all. So it's going to apply whatever permissions we're setting to all of these. So everybody. And let's just type in file one and hit enter. And now ls dash L and nobody has permissions now. Okay, so let's 
change the permissions on this file and let's give the owner read, write and execute and let's give the group read and execute and everybody else just read. So to do that we type in chmod and the owner of the file, so the user, we're going to add read, write and execute and then we're going to put a comma in and for the group we're going to add read and execute so plus r and x we could also do g equals r x makes no difference and for everybody else let's just allow them to read it so o and let's do plus r and the name of the file so file one and hit enter and now if we ls dash l you can see that the owner has read, write and execute permissions, the group has read and execute permissions and everybody else can just read it. So that's the basics of changing permissions of files using the symbolic mode. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.